Hey guys, welcome to the show. Uh, we're in Helsinki for the Film Photo Fair and we're here with the camera, rescue and camera store at their outlet. They run this outlet once a year in this fair and what they do is all those small items that uh, are not, you know, they can't put on the listings online because it's not worth it. They bring them here and sell them in massive bins. So yesterday we went live, the video didn't work fine, so we're gonna do a, this video show you guys that no one's here yet, so that's why it's all empty. So we've got like the lenses, we have uh, 10 euro lenses. Uh, all these bins are 10 euros and they're usually lenses that need a little bit of work and a little bit of love. <laughs> we got Nuno here who did a live demonstration of developing Santa film. Uh, if you haven't heard of the Santa, it's an ISO 1000 uh, film that they're selling at Camera Store. You can see we have all sorts of zooms, different lenses, and some require some love, some don't. Um, so you can adapt them. And then you have the bin, which this is basically cameras that are either not worth fixing or maybe checking. I was playing around with this Nikra mat yesterday, which sounds and works fine. So I'm very curious to take it myself for 10 euros. So if you're around Helsinki area, you want once a year, you can come here and basically go through all these bins and find a pretty good deal on cameras and repairs. So you also have all the tripods and things that are not easy to sell online. Just here, they have this Lindhoff, which I really wish I could take in my suitcase. That you can crank up for studio work. It's the best thing out there. Let me see. You can portraiture, you want one of these. But I can't fly on the airplane with that. Then we have the bin with box cameras. Uh, for those big fans of box cameras and the simple lens that they usually have, you can get this here. Look, the Polaroid back for Mamiya, which is nice. You have Instant from Kodak and their failures. These are all motor grips, so if you feel like you need a motor grip nowadays, you can probably come here and get it. They have film holders, which are probably nine by 12, which is the European size film cases, lens cases, and yesterday I was showing that there's a lot of uh, Hasselblad cases which are fairly nice. So you have these bubble cases which are a Hasselblad mount and then a bubble. So if you don't have the lens caps, these for three euros each are a great way to store your lenses and you can put a silica gel in there and have them in your wardrobe so or whatever film cabinet you have so they store fine. And then we just have lots of bits and ends. You've got slides and slide carriers. You've got adapters. Uh, they have, for example, Libox, like a one single use camera for the summer, which is fun for kids. Then we have lens caps front and back for like every camera system and size you want. These are mostly brand new, but there's a lot of others that are old new stock. If you have any weird camera, you can go through the bins, but yeah, they're packed. And then we go to the filters. This is another thing when they do uh, rescue cameras, a lot of them come with sets of filters. Uh, black and white users always used a color filter, yellow, red, orange, to change the contrast on the black and white image. And as you can see, there's tons of them. So depending on what size, it's not worth listing online. Usually they only list like the high and one, so maybe Leica screw um, filters or Hasselblad, you know, B bayonet mounts, the B60 and B50s, but you can buy all sorts of filters here. You just have to really look for the one you want and maybe find it, but it takes a while. So yesterday people were here just going through the whole box finding lens hoods. Also another item that's not easy to list unless it's very specialized for you got for Nikons, you got, this is a, Mamiya. These are actually really nice, these rubber ones. I might actually take one for five euros. RB67, but these work for RZs too. These are great little things. Then you have a lot of pamphlets. So catalogs. Oh, Snyder G Clown. This is probably my favorite lenses for large format and the information for them. 
So it gives you the design, the screw mounts, what you need, and how much they cover. I'm gonna keep that one up here because I'm gonna get that one. You've got Canon's FD catalogs. So if you wanna get any special FD, and you will know what was on the market, you can buy it. Sadly, it's all in Finnish, so I can't really read any of that. Camera straps and bits and ends. Also flashes, flash adapters, cables, and so on. Like the METS SCA adapters, which are hard to find sometimes. They're brand new in the box. So yeah, you just have to go through it and figure out what you want. And another thing that they do get a lot when they buy in is uh, camera bags. As camera bags are bulky and usually not worth shipping, they bring them here and they have all of this you can see here, plus under each bin there's a ton more. So yesterday as they would empty out, they would fill it back in and they're very inexpensive. They're 15 euro and um, basically you can see all sorts of side bags, messenger bags, uh, which is a great little add-on. You can just get a bag for 15 euros, buy a bunch of accessories and walk out of the fair. Nikon bags, more bags, more bags. They have hard cases and this one's a fairly nice one. This is a Hasselblad um, case. And these are selling for 15 euros. And I'm gonna open it so you guys will see. But these come ready for those bubbles that I was telling you. So you can have that. You can have your instructions or filters here has a padding for the body and the backs and all this. They have like three of these for 15 euros each. Just the sticker itself would sell on eBay for more than 15. So you can have a cool Hasselblad case. I would probably fly with that if I could. So yeah, basically if you are uh, interested in coming to a fair like this, it's once a year in March. Um, this year is running for three days. They also have... Okay, so after that little message from the fair, as I was saying, they have the camera rescue there where they do buy out so you can choose to sell your gear or exchange it for anything here or on the store. And also, uh, this is, as I said, an outlet. So if you wanna buy premium gear, one of the partners of camera store is here, Photo Tapio, and they have a premium. Yesterday we were checking out a Leica M3 for 400 euros. They have uh, like a CL for 700. And so if you do want to get some secondhand quality items, you can check. Uh, they have bins and lenses and everything. You've got TLRs, you've got folders, you've got lenses, and these are not outlet. These are premium um, equipment. It's got bins and bins and bins of cameras. So these are all checked through and they have a wa warranty. You can see the prices are on them, so they're fairly inexpensive. Yesterday we saw some XAs for like 60 euros. They have some um, Pentax 6x7 lenses. This is a 55 f4, which is one of my favorites for 295 euros, which is not bad to be a European price and from a camera store. You're not buying from eBay. So yeah, if you want to come and check it out, you have a lot of gear here if you're into traditional. And um, basically you can check it in your hands, test it out. You can even take it to probably camera store and they can check if you need any reaffirmment, you know, if it's working perfectly well. But everything's checked here. So yeah, uh, basically this is gonna be the fair. We have another two days running. Uh, there's a bit of an ad hoc scene. We have Agfa, I mean Agfa, ad hocs here. We have Ilford, Polaroid, and you have a few others, but mostly it's uh, Camera Tori and Camera Store that have the biggest booth. Um, so yeah, guys, if you have any questions about the fair, you can go to filmphotofair.com and there's a bit more information. I had a keynote. Mirko had a keynote yesterday too, which we will be publishing very soon. 
But yeah, if you have any questions or you want to come, it's a great destination to, you know, analog lovers uh, once a year in Europe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.